What's up collectors, at it with another video today. We have the much anticipated third edition of my pickups for the Dave Winfield PC. We got a ton of cards here, let's just get going. Um, these are all eBay pickups, um, all pretty cheap. Uh, just a ton of stuff, ton of holes that I'm filling in the collection. So this was a giant lot, only four bucks. All of these ones I already have, so I won't show you those, but these are the cards that I did not. So KB Kings, Clear League Leaders, we got a Leaf, we got Drakes, Milton Bradley, and two off the box, so some hand cut stuff. Let's jump over here. These also were, I think one of those make your own lot deals on eBay, so um, still pretty cheap. I think each card might be a dollar on this one, but some harder to find stuff. Got Burger King, KB. This was a score, I believe. This is from Baseball Card Magazine, I think. I think that's what it's called. Yep. Um, all hand cut stuff, if I'm not wrong. More Drakes. Drakes. Another Burger King one. I like that. Weiss winners. I believe that's a grocery chain. And another Drakes. Um, another lot here, make your own lot. This one was out of Canada, so we got some nice OP cheese stuff in here. But Nestle, we got this Diet Pepsi. We got a Duracell. Posts, you can tell these are out of Canada because they got the French. Same thing with this uh, Diet Pepsi. So I think that's pretty cool. We got Star Stickers. Um, this is a Tops. I think it's called Boardwalk. What is it? Boardwalk and Baseball. Don't know too much about that set. I haven't researched all of these, but if you know about it, or if you have some facts about it, drop a comment below. I think this is an OP cheese sticker, if I'm not wrong. Got another Drakes. More Drakes. KB. General Mills. Top Serial Card. And then some OP cheese to finish it off. So the quality on these, not all perfect, would not grade PSA 10s, but that's something I do not care about for this collection. This was a small lot, really cheap, but I picked it up mainly for this OPG. Again, we got pretty off-center and a rough edge there, but I don't care. It's a, a nice older vintage OPG, and I, I'm sure... I don't remember exactly, but I, I, it's probably 50 cents a card. This is the other one I didn't have, this Fleer Mini. And then some new stuff, which I'm not really collecting, but if it happens to be in a lot, I'm not going to turn it down. This one, I think, was numbered. Is it this one? Yeah. Cool numbered one out of his University of Minnesota days. And then just a 90 upper deck. These were a cool set, and I don't know too much about them, but Star was a card company in the 80s. And apparently this is the gold edition, which was out of 1500. From some quick research, Star had a ton of cards, a ton of different sets, and um, the checklist for them is not super great, I don't think. so. Um, I, I think there's definitely some really low run versions of these, but this was I think five or six bucks, so I thought I'd pick it up. These are the gold editions, so some cool photographs here. And I believe it's a 10 card little set. So not too familiar, I'm not sure how they went about picking their sets, but it seems like from my quick research that a bunch of different players have star sets. So, again, if you know anything about star baseball cards from the 80s, drop your information below. These were all singles, mostly a dollar. Um, a couple towards the end were a few bucks more, so this is just a craft. Um, what is it? Pull-up card. This is a Hostess. I think this was 76. Hand cut. Pretty decent. That was probably a little more. Maybe two, three bucks. This, these are pretty cool. These are schedule cards that the Padres put out. Um, I believe, what would this, I think this is 77 if I'm not wrong. You can see the schedule on the back. There's about four different ones of these. 
um, and they're a little more pricey but this one was I think maybe three or four dollars so I jumped on it and the last one today is this um, what is it O'Connell and Sons um, Incorporated I did some quick research on these and it, it looks like they're just you know a small company that put out some cards um, some small sets every year and I thought this was a nice looking one would love to TTM this or something maybe um, but pretty cool this was also maybe two bucks so cheap money not breaking the bank on any of these but a fun way to get to see a bunch of different sets of cards so um, thanks for watching as always put some on the back to end this frame um, don't forget guys that I have a contest running till the 31st of October um, 50 for 50 50 cards for 50 subscribers uh, check the link I'll, I'll put the link in this video and I'll put the link in the comments so definitely go sign up for that all right guys appreciate you watching appreciate you watching Dave Winfield cards I know it's not everybody's interest but I happen to think it's pretty cool and um, I hope you do too all right leave your comments below thanks for watching